What is good YouTube? My name is Emil Ross and welcome back to the Martial Consulting channel. In today's video we're going to talk about self-destruction. Um, the title of this video is something like don't self-destruct your dojo. You might be a little confused by it but I'm gonna straight up jump into it. Before we actually start, um, today's video is gonna be a little bit different slightly. So yeah, let's wait until the ambulance is um, passed by anyways. Um, yeah, so today's video is going to be slightly different because um, I don't have anything written down or I don't have like any big message that I want to tell you with this video. It's more like a video, maybe maybe also for myself, uh, but I guess it can also be useful for uh, for dojo owners as well to just basically don't self-destruct your dojo if you, if you say so. And what I mean by this is... So we're basically, like, first of all, this video, as I said, there's no script, so this video is going to be a little bit over the place. So I'm going to maybe jump from here to here and then back to here and then forward, backwards, whatever. So I hope you forgive me for this. Um, with that being said, we're basically going to talk about self-sabotaging now. It's something that that exists in every human being. And kind of what I found out is that there's no real way around self-sabotaging other than just going through the pain so like i don't know what like everyone has like their has quote unquote imposter syndrome and has like their vices some more some less of course but no one is going to be like 365 days of the year just monk mode focus like sure there are maybe some people and i might be wrong here maybe it's also just a belief i have that i can't do this because it's too hard and maybe it's just a belief and maybe I just need to fix my beliefs, whatever. Sure, it might be, might be possible, I might be completely wrong here and um, I might I might even watch this video here in like six six months, in like a year or something and then be like, wow, you were, you were a fucking weak pick then, you know, like, you truly can can be on Mongo at 365 days a week, a year, sorry. Um, but like... So when you're struggling with self-sabotaging, so like you always you always have to do like this work or I don't know, there's like 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 you always like you have like your minimum, right? So, so how how do I explain this actually? So let's let's say it like this. You have like you, you how do I it's hard to articulate to be honest. Um but you have like your bare minimum standards and then you have like your ambitions up here, right? And like until you make your ambitions or your goals, whatever you want to call them, um, you make them your bare minimum standard to live, you're not going to reach them because as human beings, we always tolerate, or we always don't live up to our fullest potential. I don't know how this quote exactly goes, but we always live up to um, the lowest standard we can tolerate. And so unless you make your goal really your lowest standard, you you won't achieve it basically. Now, with that being said, um, you like you you can only achieve your goal if you go through enough suffering, if you go through enough pain to make to, to, to turn that into reality. Because for you to go from five k per month with your dojo to fifty k per month with your dojo, you basically have to turn reality into something else. Like you have to you have to take reality and you have to. You have to just mold it, kind of. You have to like, you have to really turn reality into something else. I don't know how, how to describe. It. Yeah, you have to like mold it there, and then it's, it's like, like you're gonna do this, and like after a week, it's just gonna be really, really painful in your brain because you've worked the past days every single day, besides maybe Sunday for like twelve hours a day, whatever. But like the technical stuff of running a dojo, of getting those students, of the technical stuff of getting from 5k per month to 50k a month is not the problem. The problem is, is, is what is happening up here is like the mindset stuff. It's like, it's like the 80-20 rule, like 80% is just mindset, 20% is just um, is, um, is the technical stuff. And most people will have clicked off already. They will be like, well, it's mindset, this video doesn't make any sense. Yeah, if you're still watching, like you're, there's hope for you, to be honest. Um, now, like, now to go back to the point, like, you, in order to achieve any level of success with your dojo or whatever, you have to become a different person because we don't achieve goals, we achieve characters and with these characters we can achieve goals. And my point here is like, how do you want to achieve your goal if you're not becoming a different person? And the only way to become a different person is to go through enough pain and suffering. 
right? So you crave a burger, but you still do your work. You crave Netflix, you want to watch Netflix, but you do the taxes for your dojo. Whatever, whatever it is. And so, and if you do this over a long enough period of time, you will achieve your goal. Like, if you do just, the only way that's standing, the only thing that's standing between you being a 5k per month dojo and you being a 50k per month dojo owner is basically pain and suffering. Like, to get from here to here, you just have to walk through fire in order to, to become this new person. But the problem is that we don't know how long, how, how long, for how long we have to go through this fire. So it could be six months, it could be six years, it could be six days, it could be 60 years. Now, yeah, like 60 years or six days might not be too realistic, right? If you actually walk it through the fire. But the truth is you don't know. Like you, you like, and if, and let's say you, you, you say, all right, I want to be there in six months, right? Or in eight months, whatever. Do you, you, the, the, how would you say, like the possibility of you being right with that, uh, with, with yourself saying that is like is super low. Like you either get discouraged because you achieve it, I don't know, three months, you would have achieved it three months later, but then when those six or eight months turn around, you haven't achieved it yet. So just, you will just get discouraged and give up. Or you will be too um, too pessimistic and you say, ah, oh, it's gonna take me like 16 years. And then it's it's taking you like two years. And then after two years, like, wow, well, that went faster than expected, right? So you, you can't only be wrong with this. So remove the time frame completely, just put the time frame away and just go through the pain and through the raw suffering. And then when the universe sees, all right, he or she or whatever you identify as, I don't care. Um, when, whenever you have putting up enough suffering for the universe to give you what you want, you will get what you want, basically. And, like, the truth is, like, this is some deep psychological stuff, to be honest, from, like, from other people, it's not from me, and, like, I've only learned about this, like, a year ago, but truthfully, like, I can tell you, like, it's, a, it's the most meaningful thing you can do to go through the suffering, so, it's the best cause for depression, for, for when you self-sabotage, for when you basically hate yourself in the sense that you that you always do like shitty stuff all the time, that you can't get the work done. Bro, just, or bro, whatever, just go, just go through that suffering. It's the most meaningful thing you can do on earth. It's like, I would even go as far as it's the most, it's the best experience you can have as a human being, I guess, and to always grow. The thing is, like once you achieve those 50k per month, then you want to get to 100k and then to 500k, right? So there, and or maybe then the goal changes. But so there's like never a point in which you're just gonna say like, all right, I've achieved this now, I'm happy, <laughs> whatever, whatever that means. I'm not gonna work on any other goal now. It's kind of not how we humans beings, how we as human beings are built. We are built for efficiency. So one goal is achieved, nice. There's the next one achieved, the next one, right? Or Maybe there's a better opportunity, all right, I'll change it from this goal to this goal. No, don't do this because then you're just never going to achieve anything, obviously, if you always change your goals. But if there would be like a better opportunity on the market or whatever, you get my point, then for sure change it, right? Uh, but anyways, I hope you found some value in this video. It might be a little bit messy. Um, if you want more students for, the do for your dojo, there's a link in the description. It's a sales video, me explaining how we can help you. Click it or not, I don't care. It's up to you. With that being said, if you found it helpful, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.